One of the main reasons why uh, I wanted to come up here and work out is because it's all about community. It's my dog, CT. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, he about to tell me what I got to do next. What we got, bro? All right, hey, we're going to grab one of your 20s. All right. Yeah. We're going to go uh, like a split squat to a high knee. Okay. All right. So once you grab your 20, I'll show you, I'll give you an example of one. All right. So it's, it sounds like it's going to be like here. Yeah. In a sense. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you hear me? Boom. So a high knee. Oh, okay, got you. Boom, curl yeah. to get that dumbbell out the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm back. I'm gonna do uh, some split lunges into a high knee, which is gonna be pretty good. And uh, yeah, I was just saying like, it's good to be up here because of the aspect of community and just connecting with my brother, you know. Um, yeah, man, it's just that time where it's like, we need to be around each other more than anything and creating community. Good vibes as always. So we're gonna jump back into this workout. Yo, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Cash, and it is week three in 2024. It's crazy how time has been flying. Uh, here in Houston, Texas, we survived the freeze, and I know anybody likes, I know anybody that's from the north, it's gonna be like, the weather wasn't cold, but bro, I'm not built for the cold. I was born in the summer, I lived on an island, and truthfully, I'd rather be on a beach, more so than anything. But yo, we survived. I got another video here right now that you're watching, so I'm really excited to dive into this one because um, within this past week, I just had some moments of reflection and some things of importance that I just wanted to share with you guys. So on my channel, I'm gonna start exploring more opportunities to get my friends involved. Uh, my brothers, uh, my guy friends, like just a lot of male energy just because what I feel like has been needed and significantly missed a lot in my life is just that male community and aspect. I guess the key word for that would be a brotherhood. And I wanna like dive into that and express and show you guys like some of the really healthy male friendships that I've had through a large portion of my life. There's been so many guys that I've been friends with for like 10, 15, years, 20 years. I mean, even when I talk about how long these friendships have been, I'm like, I'm really low key giving you a hint into my age. Not that the numbers matter. It's just like, man, it's been a lot of time that has passed. And uh, hopefully this is an inspiring topic to show other people like, yo, really value those friendships that you have, those brotherhoods that you have and find that community where it's like in those difficult times and moments where you need um, someone of a significance that knows you to give you proper feedback uh, for fine tunement in whatever areas of your life that you need, that you definitely have that. So, so this past week I managed to link up with my bro CT, Christian Taylor. So there y'all, we in here. Me, yep. CT, Johnny, we in here. It's been a while since we linked up, but every time we link up, it's always fire in the making. So you already that's know. what we working on today. You already know. Um, I've literally known this guy since ninth grade we probably knew each other in middle school we just went to diff two different middle schools it was wells versus bamel and so like we were rivals probably back then um and then once we got to high school it's been like we've been dogs ever since you know that's been my brody ever since and uh and now with so much time that has passed and just kind of seeing where our, where our lives and athletic careers have taken us uh christian is a well successful uh, physical trainer here in Houston. So if you ever want to tap in with him, like reach out to my guy because he's a solid one. Um, but really just highlighting the different paths that life has taken us and we still manage to make time to connect and like really hear from each other and see what we've gone through and having that man to man conversation now that we're grown. I mean, these type of relationships or friendships when people have known you for such a significant amount of time, they really know your character and, and can really see the growth that you've had over the years and throughout these years. Um, I can definitely say the same for him and he can say the same for me and there'll be other Brodies that I'll put on the channel and uh, you'll hear their story from, from them, you know, directly from the source, as well as just like so many things that we've been able to move through and aspire to accomplish within our life. One thing that I believe and know for a fact that men take for granted when it comes to emotional support through a brother, brotherhood or community is like I stated, that emotional support, that mental clarity, um, the, 
the accountability, the opportunity to have conflicts and resolutions as well, because men tend to not have conversations solely based off emotions, but more so on like the logic of life and just this is just what it is. And as a man, this is something that you have to go through to have character development and growth opportunities within your life to be that leader and provider that I would say majority of men, that's what they want to be in their life. Bro, I appreciate you coming through. Oh, you already As know. You know. I uh, told you I yeah. try to keep my training a little dynamic. Um, so as far as your workout today, do you feel the stuff that you did today is stuff that you can translate to everyday life, like functional movements? Oh yeah, a thousand percent. Um, because it's explosive. Uh, you're engaging like full body, you know, movements, core is engaged, glutes engaged. And as I was telling you, like, I messed up my hamstring like a year ago. I have one, muscle imbalances, but also mind and muscle connection uh, that I really need to focus on. So you have me doing, you know, some ISO movements, but also some full body where there's multiple parts of the muscle groups that have to activate at the same time. Right. Uh, obviously, that's going to translate in our day to day lives, picking things up, putting stuff down, keeping our low back strong, core strong. So, 1000%, bro. I got to do this three rounds, three reps. Hey, bro. Shout out to Kim. Put a camera on Kim, my biggest supporter. <laughs> she believes in me. They didn't believe in us, but Kim did. Kim believed. All right, both feet gotta come down at the same time. If I don't, it doesn't count. Ooh. Uh. 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 Ooh, jog back, baby. You know what time it is. Let's go. That's it, right? Appreciate it, bro. As far as you personally, like, what are your, some of your goals that you got set for yourself in the gym? I uh, really just show up. It's, it's all about consistency uh, for me this year because um, there's going to be days in this year where I don't feel motivated to work out, not have the energy, or not enough nutrition. Um, and I always feel like there's at least something I can do under any circumstance to, also, to improve myself at least by getting 1% better. Right. So if I'm not, if I don't have enough calories, maybe I just come to the gym and just do uh, some active stretching just to release tension out of the body. If I have a surplus of calories, maybe I hit a leg day. If I'm feeling fatigued, how about we just do cardio? So yep. it's like, there's always something that can be done. Um, and therefore I'm like not giving myself an excuse not to show up. Um, so I know you got an athletic background from playing sports with you growing, all growing up and stuff. Um, and I know at some point last year you were working on bodybuilding too, so are you more so trying to get a, a little bit more active like in an athletic way or are you more focused on bodybuilding, you more focused on calisthenics? I know now you do yoga stuff, so yeah. what's, your, what's your focus? Man, my focus is strong body, strong mind, and there's like so many different sections of that to complete a strong body and mind concept. And so uh, when I was really going hard on like bodybuilding, uh, or just like really training excessively, it was more so to get a strong mind to push myself to give more into each rep. Nice. Um, the yoga came in part because of like injuries and understanding that to have a strong body is not necessarily always about contracting. It's also about releasing, you know, everything that we built up within our bodies. And then the calisthenics was a 
teaching myself how to be like more functional, kind of like what we were doing today, where it's um, getting the body to operate under, you know, one, you know, line of movement and yeah, uh, some range of motion. Some range of motions, and that's kind of like what we touched on today, which was perfect. So. Really, I'm just kind of combining all of those things because I know it's going to translate in everything else in my life um, that I'm creating and working on. And uh, I just also believe that as men, like this is a place where we need to be consistently because it's community. Um, we can connect and fellowship with other men. And uh, in those like tougher moments of life, we have this space here yeah, to uh, it, pull us through, you know? Mental health for men is important, bro. It's uh, something that men struggle to express themselves about just because you know society's um goal is to kind of tear down men and not get us to speak on our emotions but it's important for us to be able to know how to properly express those emotions and then act on them in a proper manner thousand um, percent and for any guys that's watching right now i hope you see that this is the opportunity for you to go explore those friendships that you already have it doesn't have to be something as as long as the friendship that i've had with ct However, just someone that aligns and knows you for who you are based off your character and have those conversations. Finish up with this, when you look at having a strong connections with these people that's known you for a significant amount of time, even a short period of amount of time, because that type of chemistry can happen overnight or it can happen over years. You have to look at the opportunity through networking because to have a strong community and a strong brotherhood, we have to reach back and pull each other up, pull each other forward to create opportunities for our generation and the generation to come. At the end of the day, life has its challenges and that's probably the best part about life because it's not the destination that makes us feel fulfilled, it's the reflection of everything we've had to overcome to arrive at a destination that gives us the fulfillment. And so that's why we have to strengthen each other and push each other and allow ourselves to have big dreams to chase and go after. So once we've gone through all the challenges and obstacles that we can feel alive in the moment of triumph. My name is Cash. Leave a like on the video. Leave some comments. Um, send some love to somebody in the world. And uh, you already know, man. I'll see you guys in the next video. So let's get to it. Yeah. Man, I know because I know you personally for so long, bro. It's been a blessing. Bro, um, we, hey, y'all don't yeah. know. We go back. Way back. Like, way back. We go back, man. Like, ninth grade, like, Houston Rockets jerseys. Yeah. Way back. Like, yeah, this, hey, this was my two guard. <laughs> this is my yeah, shooting yeah, guard. Yeah. yeah. I, so, man, just man, I know. I hey, told y'all we in there. For hey, real. fun fact: I threw, I threw CT my first alley oop from half court, and it was my first alley. As a matter of fact, from and half court in a live though. game, <laughs> old buddy was running. Old buddy was running like, what's about to happen? I looked at CT from half court. I just went like this, that little head nod. Yeah. I said, I got to throw this. <laughs> CT rising, bro. Still rising. Old buddy jumped too, but he don't know CT behind him. He like trying to jump up too. CT two hit in this mug, bro. We like sophomores maybe. Yeah, bro. Right. And I try to tell people that, and they like, man, CT, you're lying, bro. I'm like, no cap, right, dog. no <laughs> cap. He two-handed, ref blew the whistle and one, hit the free throw. Uh, at first alley oop and one, bro. That what? Yeah, that was. <laughs> hey, that was classic, bro. That was classic.